y'all, I'm Dominique Green with Puppy Panda Crochet Co. And today we got another podcast. So, as you guys saw in the previous video, I did a little crochet with me. It was a day in my life. Um, there wasn't much crocheting going on. Like, physical, actual crocheting with me. But I stopped in with some progress on my works and with my finished objects of the day. But some of those finished items will be shown in this podcast. If you want to follow me on, we got the Nova. Yep. <laughs> so much attitude. So she's just now starting to eat her breakfast. It is currently almost four o'clock. Yeah, she's not much of an eater, but she eats whenever she wants. And then I got Cora right here, being a good boy. <laughs> but I have an entire bag full. <laughs> so let's get... Oh, I was saying, if you want to follow me anywhere, I have TikTok, Instagram, and a business YouTube a uh, business Facebook page, but I don't really post anywhere on, much on that. And then you can find me in a couple crochet groups by other podcasters. So let's get started. I will start with these little horses. Um, two of these horses you saw me make in the crochet with me. But this is the Old Soul Crochet. Her zebra pattern, but I modified it to be a horse by just changing the colors. So the mane is loop stitches. And then for the tail, I did a chain loop stitch. So I chained 20 and then I slip stitched back in, chain 20, slip stitch back in. And that made two little loops, but it looks like a pretty full tail. And this is a super quick and easy project. I used um, Chenille Home Slim or Sweet Snuggles light in terracotta and then in black for this one. And I used 20 millimeter safety eyes for him. But yeah, we have a little bay. And then we have another bay, but this one is a little more afro-y. So instead of doing the loop stitches, I actually did the chain loops on the mane and on the tail. For the tail, I did three separate ones. And on the mane, I just started at the tippy top right here. And I went back and forth forever until I got to the base of the neck and the stir of the body. And he is just... He's got an afro. <laughs> but yeah, this little bay is cute. Same size eyes. Same yarn. Now for the ones that you saw in the crochet with me video. I have this little mint one. I think it's called Ice Cream in Sweet Snuggles Light. And then for the white, I double stranded Parfait Chunky by Premier and Premier's par uh, Pixie Dust in white. So it is sparkly, you can't really see it on the camera, but the, the entire body, legs, and everything that's done in white has the sparkle to it. And then I did the chain loops on the base and then the loop stitches on the head. And I have one more. This is in like a coral soft peach color in Nova's back. Hi baby girl. We got to Nova. No one invited you over here. <laughs> this little princess. Love her more than anything in the world. Maybe the same as this little boy. <laughs> okay, back off. I love you. Go take a nap. So as I was saying, we have this one. That's the coral. Same with the chain loop on the tail. And then the loop stitches on the main. And same pattern by Old Soul Crochet. 
and she just released a sea turtle pattern and oh, I want to make it so bad. <laughs> and speaking of turtles, we have one of these. So I saw this yarn at Hobby Lobby for the show and I just thought that it was perfect. It's the Baby Bee Adorable Super Bulky and it came out like a tie-dye rainbow, muted rainbow type thing. And then I used Buttercup and Burnett Baby Blanket. And that's this little guy. This is the pattern by Rose and Lily Crochet. And I modified her pattern to where I slip stitched the fins and the tail piece in. So I don't have to sew that in, and all I have to do is sew the head on. But yeah, this little turtle is ready for his forever home. Now, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to make the Weeby Alien by Meg's Makes Crochet, but make it mini. So I use... Premier Parfait Chunky and Key Lime to make a little weeby. So as I said, this is my makes crochet pattern. It is a no sew. And I just modified the bottom to not have the decrease six. So I stopped it one row short so it cinches up. And that pulls the bobble stitches down so he can stand up on his own a little bit better. And I use 12 millimeter eyes for them. And I have three. <laughs> so I got three little weebies. All in green. But unfortunately, I did not want to want that size as a keychain. So I want even smaller. I used the um, what's it called? Burnett Baby Velvet with 12 millimeter. No, some of these have 12 millimeter eyes. Some have, no, they all have 12. Never mind. So I just did it with the Baby Velvet and they turned out the perfect size for a keychain. So for my keychains, I'm trying to step back from this, but I used a jump ring. Uh, let's see. So I used a jump ring to attach it to the actual item. And then a second jump ring for the middle. And then I attached my lobster clasp. And this is like a snap closed lobster clasp. And I absolutely love these clasps. So I have, I think I have three pink and two of this aqua e green. I really wanted to use this color of green, but unfortunately I did not have that color in the smalls. So yeah, three green, three pink purples and two of the blue green. <sighs> okay. So, I made another zebra as well. I've had this one as a work in progress for a couple weeks now. I love you, handsome. <laughs> um, but this one I used a single strand of Big Twist Cuddle in the white. And then a single strand of um, a Wait for Acrylic. So it has some rainbow stripes. I was thinking that this would be a better bet instead of me having to embroider stripes on. Because who wants to spend all day embroidering stripes on a zebra? <laughs> and then this is just the Chenille Home Slim in black. And I put 24 millimeter safety eyes on him. For the ears, I just left as a white and black. And then for the main, I did the chain loops. Most of this is using um, Premier Parfait Chunky. 
and I just did two rows of, I think I chained eight of each color, all the way down to the purple. And then for the tail, I attached it here and then I used both the colors and I chained a couple and just tied it off at the end. But yeah, this is my rainbow zebra. I'm planning on making at least one more. And it does help with the double stranding it with an acrylic. So I don't have to do the stripes on it. But yeah, this is my little rainbow zebra. And it is using the same pattern as this. So it's a little bit bigger, but yeah. Um, let's go on to another small item, small-ish. <laughs> I made a couple Triceratops. This is using the Big Twist Cuddle in the um, variegated blue color. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I used 18 millimeter eyes, and this pattern is a no-so. And all I did was modified the butt to where it closed up instead of having an extra two rows where it puckers out a little bit. So, I kind of really like how the colors swirl on them. Just gives them a little bit of character. And also, instead of doing the chains and having to sew on the horns, I just embroidered the horns on. So I have this one, and I also have this one. Exact same pattern, just different parts of the ball. And yeah, that's how those two turned out. Okay. When I was on a keychain kick, I decided to minify one of my other patterns. It's the Leggy Frog from All From Jade. She does have a baby Leggy Froggy pattern that I could have used, but I didn't buy that when I bought the Leggy Froggy. So I just divided the regular Leggy Frog in half, except for the arms and the legs, in which case I changed seven and just followed the pattern from there. And this one I actually used both 12 millimeter eyes and six millimeter eyes. I think I used a 12 millimeter eye on one or two of them and six on the rest. So this is a little leggy frog. Another leggy frog. Sorry about that. My dad interrupted us. So we have four leggy frogs and one little peach one. And that's all of them that I currently have right now. Well, actually I have six, but that sixth one is hiding to see how long it will take my mom to notice that I put a leggy froggy inside of her sloth. So I have the sloth sitting right above the TV and I just put the leggy froggy right inside. So the sloth is hugging the leggy frog, but my mom hasn't noticed and it's been two days, so I'm going to give her another three days before she can find it. But we have five of the green ones total and one peach. And this uses barely any yarn, so it's great, great for scraps. Now I am working on designing, well, I technically already have this pat these patterns designed. Um, it is a no sew collection where I have a cow. Uh, you won't sit up. There we go. A cow. A flying pig with a curly tail. See if I can get them all to sit up. Might want to modify my own pattern to where I can get these to stand sit up on their own without the butt the little bulge. 
and a platypus. Not just a platypus, but Perry the platypus. So this has a removable hat. Let's see if I can get it on. I mean, off. Hey, you come on. Almost got him. Okay, so I just used bobby pins to keep the hat on, but he comes out without a hat. And he's got a little flat tail. There we go, got them all setting up. And the hat is made in one piece, so it's top to the bottom. And then for the brim, I just used black and I hot glued it on. I kept the tails because I don't want to leave in tails. But yeah, we got Perry the Platypus. Sorry, trying to put these bobby pins away. So these are my next pattern to come out. They are a five-in-one, no-sew critter bundle. Um, they don't have names yet. Still working on that. I'm probably just going to name it Critter Bundle One or something like that. But yeah, what's included is a cow, a pig and a platypus, and also the hat with the hat brim and the wings. And that is what's all included in this little bundle. Um, I have it with testers and the pattern should come out on the 16th. And speaking of my new patterns, I finally got Havoc done. Well, my second Havoc. I put a granny square, uh, granny stitch border on the base, and he's got some sparkly felt eyes. This is my first lovey pattern to come out. So he just uses a doll joint assembly on the underside, and that attaches the fleece to the head. And yeah, so this is Havoc. He does turn out pretty big. And then what I released this past week, I think it was either this week or last week, was Weston the Cow. He sits on his own. And I do have it modified to where you can crochet in the ears and the arms. And he has 35 millimeter sparkly eyes. And this is made entirely out of Chenille Home Slim or Sweet Snuggles Light. And I actually tried to crochet in the legs. I think I did crochet the legs in, but I tacked them up a little bit. So they're kind of stiff. But yeah, this is Weston. He is one of my new patterns. And as you can see for his hoof, I made it to where it actually looks like a hoof, where it has that indent. So there's two little puckers on here, and they're on every single hoof. But yeah, this is little Weston. And then the side, the other one that I released when I released Weston was Caroline. I know you've seen Caroline before, but she is finally out. This one has sparkly pink eyes, and I used this beautiful color-changing pink on as the accents. And for the blanket, it's this pretty pink floral, and I just did a basic 
single crochet border. And I left the horns off. But yeah, this is one of my Carolines. And my second Caroline is finally done. I finally got her done. I put this beautiful variegated and I used the gray stitch as the second row. And it turned out amazingly. But yeah, this Caroline's finally done too. <sighs> we got a lot in here. Oh, looks like I found two more little flying pigs. And then speaking of new patterns, I designed another one. They're with t this one's with testers as well. Um, let's rotate you guys a little bit. But I saw that Alyssa G just came out with a new Axlol pattern, so I tried it. I used six millimeter eyes. And I didn't really love how the gills turned out on mine. Or even, well, the tail was okay. And I changed hers to where I did bobbles instead of, she did like chain legs. And he's on a string and clip. So I modified mine to... Look a little bit different. It looks a little bit more like my bigger axolotls. So I changed up the gills. And I did the bobbles as the legs. And for the tail, it's similar. So this is foundation crocheted on. But the entire axolotl, except for the tail fin, is one piece. So these are really easy to do. It's kind of like the leggy froggy pattern where you chain out and you come back in and then you work behind it so it stays out. So this is my one of my newer patterns as well. I made a couple to make sure that I liked the pattern. Just a couple. And then this is the last one, I promise. <laughs> so this one's done in white and I think it's called Azure or Turquoise. This one is Bubblegum and White. This one is, and then all four of these bottom ones are Bubblegum and then I use the pink from Ice Yarns. So we got so many XLO keychains. I got seven total, and we're still not done. The bag keeps going. Um, I got some more Groots. These Groots are done with Chenille Home Slim in the color Sand, and then I used Parfait Chunky for the leaves. Oh, well, yeah, I think I used them for both. And then these are Felt Avenue eyes. But the pattern is the Baby Tree Man by Katie Ditz. And it is all a single piece from the legs to the top. You crochet in the arms. And then for the vines, you chain a certain amount and you actually can hot glue it on. I E6000 glued it on. <laughs> and then I just make these little leaves and I tie a knot and I shove the yarn into the body. So it's two chains that go all the way down the body. And then this one, you join it at the crotch and you go down the second leg. And there's six leaves. So I have him and I also have this one. So these two are really cute, um, but yeah. So I think I have one, two, three, four, six baby tree mans now. 
I should have seven. Uh, I got a lot. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, wait, I already showed you this Havoc. This is the original Havoc. Yes, he has his price tag on. With the shell border. So this border is actually included in the pattern as the shell border for all of my levies. So that's the original Havoc. And we got more platypi. These ones I haven't gotten to the hat yet. So two more platypi. And we got oh make that three more platypi and another cow. <laughs> this bag just keeps going. I think I'm Mary Poppins. Oh, yep, there no, that's not it. Never mind. Okay. I said turtles. We got another turtle. So this is the baby lilac and then chenille home and the chunky. I think it's called navy tweed. And it is a beautiful fluffy color. And then the baby lilac. And I just couldn't make one in that color so I had to make another one but in cream. <laughs> so yeah this is the other one with cream and the baby lilac. And then I wanted to put weights in my turtles. So I made some weighted sunflower turtles. This is all done in Premier Parfait Chunky except for the petals, which is Chenille Home Slim. Um, no. Yeah, Chenille Home Slim. So this is the color Teddy Bear Mustard. And I'm not sure about this green, what the green's called. But I double-stranded the green and I double-stranded the teddy. And it turned out a similar size to the other one. And I put half a pound of weights in him. So he is pretty heavy. And this is my version of the sunflower turtle. And then I did it in a different color of green. This is the... Um, Chenille Home Slim and Agave. It's one of my favorite green colors. And same of the body. And he also has half a pound of weights in him. And then two more things, I promise. I got this green from Premier. It's their... Neil Bulky? I don't know what it's, what it's called, but it's like Burnett Blanket. And a pretty green, kind of like the agave color. And then this is Chenille Home Slim in the Baby, baby Sand. And I used a free pattern off of Instagram. And made a little Yoda. A little Yoda. It's the head and the body are done in one piece. The arms you have to sew on and the collar you have to sew on. Um, I might make a second one to where I can modify the collar just being crocheted in. Because I was thinking if I use the back loops only when it color changes to the baby sand, I can use the front loops to make the collar. And then the ears are actually a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's um, a panel, and then you crochet down one side and you fold it in to give it the taco shape, and then you embroider on the nose. So I actually really like how these ears are done. About the same as my other ears that I really like for my standing Yoda. And then last but not least, we have... <sighs> A little lemur. So this one's using Premier Parfait Chunky in the key lime and then in the white. And this is a pattern by Saucy Puffins Crafts. He has sparkly green, dark green eyes. You can't really see them. I'm sorry. It's a little bit overcast and my light in my room is not very color helpful. <laughs> 
So he has 35 mill millimeter sparkly green eyes. And yeah, so I modified her pattern to where I crocheted the tail, the arm, and the arms in, and also made the body and the head one piece. So all I have to do is um, sew on the ears, the eyes, the muzzle, and the belly piece. So there's still a lot of sewing, but a little bit less sewing than what there would have been. So yeah, this is the very last item, is this little lemur. Okay, Court, you are jabbing into my side. <laughs> So that is all that I have to show you today. Um, I'm still crocheting like crazy, even though I have no space in all my totes. And I also ran out of my pricing labels. <laughs> so I have to wait for an Amazon order to show up. And then I can price all of these items as well as... Well, I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with toe-wise, because I'm out of space. <laughs> but space does not stop me from crocheting. I just love it so much. But yeah, if you guys follow me on TikTok, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so I can go live over there. And we can jam out to some fun music and talk crochet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't seen it, go back and see my crochet with me day in my life video. Um, we do have another item over there. I did make a peep, um, but my mom stole it. So you'll see the peep in my previous video. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.